Hi, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. I have made the executive decision that Sundays for me are dedicated to not being on camera except for a little bit. That did make sense. Basically, I decided Sundays I'm not gonna vlog my day. We're just gonna do an activity because we need a little bit of balance in our lives. So today we're making granola. I don't have a recipe, we're just gonna wing it. But I'm thinking that my love and passion for granola will help me through this. Without further ado, let's get started. Also, it's 9 p.m. and we're doing this right now. Okay. I'm gonna walk you through step by step how I'm gonna do this, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna tell you what to do, but don't follow it. Well, like you, brace yourself. Before we start, I have to eat some chocolate chips. I have to be fueled for my granola making process. Okay, so for my granola today, we will be using one cup of rolled oats, incredible, and one cup of puffed rice. If you haven't tried just plain puffed rice, it kind of slaps. I put it on top of like ice cream and smoothie bowls and things like that. Anyways, moving on. Or I'm adding a cup of this too. It's not going well. Mm -hmm. Screw it. Rain on me. Okay, then I'm gonna add a scoop of protein powder because it's just what my heart is telling me to do. I say protein powder like yes. According to science, this is protein powder. But in my eyes, it's like cookie flavor. I buy this one brand and flavor. It just makes all your smoothies, my oatmeal and everything, it just makes everything taste like a piece of birthday cake. It's incredible. <sighs> so I'm gonna put some in my granola and then maybe my granola will taste like cookie granola. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, not too much, because we don't want it to be cinnamon granola. We want like a nice basic granola that we can add things to. We don't want like just cinnamon and then our options are limited for what the granola can become because it's already become something. But if we let the granola be itself, then it can transform into anything it wants. It becomes a blank canvas. Thank you. My mom says to add salt to everything, so I, I just add salt to everything. Okay, and then we're gonna mix it up. I'm using this pineapple spatula. Yes. Wow. Okay, well, we're gonna set this aside. It's a mini one. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna make a little bit of a liquid concoction to mix in. We're gonna mix the tahini, but it's, it's like all cold and chunky. We don't want cold and chunky, we want gooey. I don't know if my method is working here. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400. Okay, so for my liquid concoction, I'm going to add two tablespoons of tahini, or you could use any sort of nut butter, peanut butter, sunflower butter, cashew butter, hazelnut butter, pecan butter, pistachio butter, walnut butter, pumpkin seed butter, watermelon seed butter. Your options are unlimited. But today I'm using tahini, which is sesame seed. I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of coconut butter, which is not to be mistaken with coconut oil. No, no, no. Coconut butter is the meat and the oil or something like that. It's like blended up coconut flakes until it makes a butter. I don't know, my mom just makes it and puts it in a drawer. All right. Then we're adding vanilla extract, two teaspoons. I don't know. Then for sweetness, I'm gonna use monk fruit because I don't want too much liquid. Otherwise, I would use like honey or maple syrup, but I'm worried about it getting too liquidy and I want it to be like really chunky. Well, obviously. Well, granola isn't liquidy, but like, you know what I mean. Maybe you don't. Whatever. <sighs> then we're gonna mix it. Wow. I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave for like, I don't know, 20 seconds because it's like hard. Actually, not too bad. Oh, it just chunkified more. Well, I don't want it chunkier. Well, let's just, we'll give it a go. Maybe if I just mix it enough, it'll just like become granola, you know? Mm, that's not gonna work. Okay, well it's doing something. Oh, okay, so the tahini and stuff, it just all mixed with the protein powder, but nothing got on the oats and the rice. Ah, oh, frick. Mm. Well, it tastes good. Here's my plan. Adding melted coconut oil and maple syrup. Oh, 
Oh, things are happening. Things are happening. Mm. It tastes like a chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate chip. Everyone is sleeping. Ooh, ah. Let's take a look at this. Wow, she is beauty, she is grace. One may even say she's Miss United States. I don't know, you tell me. Okay, so I put it in there for like five minutes and we're just gonna make sure that it didn't explode. I'll see you in five minutes. Also, I changed some settings on my camera to hopefully help the blurriness problem. Ugh. Like, let me know, like, how do I look? Like, do I look good? Do I look fire? I don't know, let me know. Okay, it's literally been like two minutes and it's like smoking. Okay, I just stirred it around a little bit. I'm gonna give it like another two minutes. Jesus Christ, and we'll see what, what's going on. It looked all golden and toasty, but it was smoking. We're just gonna sit here and we're just gonna watch it. And we're gonna watch it burn and die. Okay, I see shit starting to burn again. Ah, oh God, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, All right. <laughs> this is too stressful. I was supposed to have a stress-free night. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. You can't even see it. Ooh. I don't know why I sound like a ghost. Um, it's probably like piping hot. So I'm gonna eat it. I've been like blowing on your hot fresh granola. It smells really good. Oh my God. Oh, mm. <gasps> Mm. Oh wow, that's very, very delicious. I was worried about using tahini and it being too salty, but honestly, it kind of helps to balance it out. Mm -mm -mm. It tastes like graham crackers. That's what we're calling this one, graham cracker granola. Cheers. Oh, mm-hmm, mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh God, broke the oven. We did it, we made the granola. She looks stunning. Amazing, well, I hope you had fun making granola with me. That was this Sunday's activity. Tomorrow we will be back with a normal rundown of Jasmine's life. We have exciting things coming tomorrow. When I say exciting, I mean a doctor's appointment. Looking forward to that, I love you. Don't forget to do something for yourself today. Y'all know the motherfucking drill. Drink that water, make some granola, Bake something you love, bake something, cook something. It sounds tasty to you because when you eat food that's tasty, we feel tasty. And feeling tasty is the best way to feel. I'm overheating and I think I'm dehydrated. So my brain's kind of not working quite right. Oh shoot, our question of the day. Okay, question of the day, super important question. What is your favorite brand and flavor of granola? This is a very serious question. You can have different categories of granola. Like I have my good like go-to granola. I have my favorite granola that goes on a smoothie bowl. I have a favorite granola to eat on its own. There's different granola for different occasions, but my all-time favorite is the Love Crunch Chocolate macaroon granola chocolate hazelnut oh my god it tastes like crunchy nutella it's literal crack it is crack one day they're gonna run out of that stuff and i'm gonna have to sell it illegally let me know if you have a favorite type of granola or cereal or just crunchy snack it's a serious question okay okay but i love you drink water eat your veggies all the things okay go sleep mm -hmm. happy we're done i love you bye